All right. Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. Again, welcome everyone to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. And so we're gradually getting into this thing. It's about eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am super elated to be before each and every one of you on tonight. This is a podcast being brought to you on behalf of Women of Elevation, Career Services International. Again, Women of Elevation, Career Services International. This is a nonprofit org, 501c3, based out of Chesapeake, Virginia. It also has a location in Nigeria, Africa, and we're just super excited to be before you. So before we dive into specifics tonight, I definitely would love to start a watch party and that's what I am going to do. You know, so whether you catch the information live or the replay, uh, we welcome you here on behalf of all of the board leaders uh, connected to this nonprofit org and every one of our members around the world. Uh, We thank you so very much for tuning in to the podcast. Now this podcast right now is live, not just on Facebook, but it is also live on Spreaker, uh, iHeartRadio. It's live uh, over at womenofelevation.com, the website. And so you're able to plug in from various places to tune into this very exciting uh, podcast show. So we're starting a watch party in the community group. on Facebook, and it sounds like the audio is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and greet the members of that group. So good evening, WOE family. Welcome aboard, everybody. It truly is an honor. It really is. Uh, This podcast goes live every Tuesday and Wednesday around 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So here's the deal. Uh, For those who are connected, whether you're male or female, listen, if you care about the women, the sisters in your life, you want to help them to thrive, I want to invite you to do one thing right now. Go ahead and share this stream out. If you're listening in by way of podcast, share the podcast episode out because here is what we do. Uh, This podcast, you know, it's, it's the media outlet for women of elevation and our mission really is to empower women with the tools to be able to create, relate and elevate so that women can walk in their God-given purposes and truly live their dream lifestyles. Because there are so many women around the world who are just not satisfied where they are. And you really shouldn't be if you're in the process, like if you're moving to the next destination. And so we want to be that springboard that's going to help women around the world to get to their destinations, their desired destinations. And so we welcome you here. And uh, we do see we have a couple of listeners uh, on the Facebook platform, on my timeline, as well as in the group there. Good evening, Alicia. Good evening, Jamario, and a few others that's tuning in. And so here's what we're going to be doing tonight. Many of you know that throughout the given year uh, for this nonprofit and the podcast, we have certain topics. And during the month of February, since we're here in February now, We're focusing in on product creation, product creation. Now you could very well be someone you're like, man, I don't know if I have any creative juices. (laughs) You don't know if you have the ability to be creative, but I truly honestly believe that everyone can create something at some point or another. Okay. At some point or another, you know, you, you've been given an idea. God has given you an idea to create something. And so we're talking specifically tonight about physical products Okay, physical products. And I know for me, right, for me, one of the physical product examples that I've really uh, had the opportunity to create and be able to market uh, has been a physical book, a physical book. Okay, so when you hear the words that I share tonight, it's really going to come from that perspective of writing a book. I don't know how many of you have an idea in your mind, like, man, you know, I have this book concept, this book idea. I just don't know really how to put it all together. Uh, But I tell you, one of the things that we focus in on during the months of April, we do have like a live seminar. So uh, we're we're definitely looking forward to that, where we're going to share with you the specific steps on really how to go about doing these things. How do you create a book? How do you create products such as these? We're going to talk about that at the live seminar uh, in April. But here's what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to talk about why physical products uh, should be something that you can consider 
as an entrepreneur. And I am going to start by giving you a couple of examples of physical products. So let me go to my, my notes here. All right. Now here's a few examples of physical products. So I gave you one, right? Which is a book. So you can create a physical paperback or a hardback book. That is an example. How about jewelry? Jewelry is another example of a physical product because you can have the jewelry customized, right? And you can be able to drop ship that. You can be able to have, you know, a place whereby people can make an order and it can be automatically shipped from a specific location, perhaps not even your own location, but it can be shipped uh, to a specific address of the customer's choice. And, And not just jewelry, but you also have photography, you have artwork, right? Cosmetics. How about that? Perfume and makeup. And, and these are just examples. How about clothing? Maybe you want to have a, your own t-shirt line, your own bling tees that you sell, or, or maybe even for those who are gamers out there, video games, that can be an option that some people may want to create as well. So all of these essentially are items, physical items that people can create. These are just some, some ideas and some suggestions just to get your mind thinking. But I'm going to really focus in on, for example, why would a person consider, you know, creating a product, a physical product, but more specifically, a book. Many of you probably see these millions of books in bookstores. You're like, man, if I can only create or write a book. Some of you may be in the process of writing a book now. But why? Why would a person want to create a book or write a book? Here's here's one reason why. You can share your message with others. You see, I've had the pleasure of publishing about uh, about five books. I've been a part of a lot of collaboration projects as well. But I've published several books, several physical books. Uh, the one major book that I've published is Leadership TKO book. Uh, many of you know that my passion is leadership, right? And so, you know, you really can share your message because even as a speaker, there's but so much speaking you can do. Okay, I can't be but in one place at a time. But I tell you, if I publish a book, that message can be in several places at one time because people can actually purchase the book and begin reading it and they can pass it on to other people. Therefore, the message continues to be shared in various places. So how about that, right? You can share your message with other people. That's number one. Good evening, Trish. Here's a second reason why maybe considering a physical book uh, can help you out as an entrepreneur. You see, writing a book is an instant credibility booster. Instant, right? Think about it. People like John Maxwell, you don't think that he's gained a lot of credibility for publishing the many, many books that he has? He sold over like over 40 million copies of his book. So think about that. An instant credibility booster. You know, people begin to recognize, man, Lakeisha, you know, what what is your focus here? So then when they saw the books that I published on professional speaking and and the book on leadership, they began to understand, yeah, she's really into this this professional development, (laughs) okay? She wants to help people to win, and, and there's no better place to start than enhancing yourself as a leader. And so that's the reason why that's my baby. Leadership is my baby. So it gives you credibility, it gives you credibility in a specific industry. Now, here's a third reason to, cre- to create a physical product like a book. So you'll make a valuable contribution to this world. You will make a valuable contribution to the world because even as, as you are, after you are long and gone, that book will be here, right? And people will have the opportunity to pick up that book, to purchase that book, you know, at any point. And continue to to really be impacted by your thoughts, right? By your experiences. And so that's the value that you can provide, the, the seeds that you can sow into the world, even after you are long and gone. Think about people like even Kobe Bryant, right? Any type of content, physical products he's had, he has out there, people are going to remember him because of the legacy, because of how what he stood for. And so it's going to be a valuable contribution to the world. And here's the fourth and final reason that I want to share with you tonight for creating, you know, why would you want to create a physical product like a book? And that is this, you see, writing a book, just like with any other product is a skill that you can master. 
All right. You can master that skill. Now I can tell you the truth right now. Writing a book was not always something I thought about because that was actually the last thing on my mind. I knew, for example, that I wanted to go out and share my message verbally, right? But by voice (laughs) with the world, I did not even believe that I was going to pick up a book, pick up a pen or even type anything because I didn't consider myself to be a writer. But there was a moment, was it in 2008 or nine, where over the course of a weekend, two days, God gave me the idea to write a book on goal setting. And I did. And I was able to write that book in two days. Okay, two days is all it took me to write a book, the basic content within the book. And of course, it took a little bit more time to edit it and structure it and get the graphics and all these different elements a part of it. But I was able to create this book and it was a skill that I was able to master. So hopefully you all understand why creating physical books are physical products are important. Now, I gave you the example based on a book because that's my experience and that's where I have the most experience in. But it could be that you have experience in creating jewelry or, or, or designing clothing, whatever it might be for yourself. Again, the same reasons should apply. So again, I just want to say thank you so very much for tuning in to this episode tonight, the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. Now, if you want more content like this, you want to be empowered, you want to be you know, encouraged, I want to invite you to be a part of the community area on Facebook. That's right. We do have a community area for Women of Elevation. We want to invite you to visit www.woecommunity.com. Again, that's www.woecommunity.com. That link will direct you to the Facebook group. And all you would need to do is request to join the group. It's a free group to join. We encourage you to plug in. More and more and more great information is to come. And so thank you so much for your time, everyone. We'll be back here on the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast uh, on next week on Tuesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So visit our website to receive more updates. That website address is www.womenofelevation.com. Be blessed and take care.